Hey guys, how you doing? Figured I'd do a quick video right now about um, how to uh, deping your Benjamin Fortitude spring or dampen it, whatever you call it. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do a full installation tutorial. Um, I was doing uh, research on the gun and found out pretty quickly that there's... there's that well, excuse my English. That there's no schematics for like disassembly and no disassembly videos for this gun. And since it's a hybrid between a Marauder and a Discovery, it's a little different to uh, maintain and uh, disassemble. So I had to uh, pretty much take it into my own hands to figure out how this thing ticks per se. But without further ado, let's uh, get on to it. Um, also with this. You will not have to degas your gun to do this at all prior to uh, installment. So there's no hassle on that end either. After you're done with this, your gun will sound virtually... Um, there's pretty much no ping after this whatsoever after you do this. Um, sounds very quiet. Sounds like a nicely tuned PCP. Greatly recommend this mod. But anyways, let's uh, get into it. Um, what you'll need is nothing more than a couple O-rings. I was going to use grommets, as I said in a previous video. But they proved to be too big, so I opted to use O-rings. You can find these at your local hardware store. I just had a bunch lying around my house, uh, thankfully. But they are relatively cheap. I'm not sure what size, so I'd recommend taking your uh, um, spring preload adjuster with you when you go to the hardware store to see what fits inside the recess. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is uh, take off the stock screw and take out the safety pin. There's a screw right here, I just pointed to it, and to take out the safety pin, there's a little spring, if you can't see that in there, that you gotta pull back with something small enough, and then this will just fall right out. Then, you're gonna wanna take out your breech screws. There are four of them, there's two, um, hold on. Uh, there's one here and one here, and then there's two on the other side, pretty much, uh, symmetrically next to each other. After you take those out, you're going to want to come down this way and take out, take off your barrel band. There's going to be a set screw here and one on the other side. Just slide it on down after you loosen them. Yeah, all the way down to the air reservoir till it comes off and then these two parts uh, the breech and the air reservoir will separate from each other after that all we gotta focus on is the air reservoir half with the trigger group what you're gonna wanna do is um, on the trigger group there is a screw right below your um uh, spring preload adjuster and you're gonna want to take that off but you're gonna wanna uh, I, I'm sorry about this lighting situation it's horrible but you're gonna wanna uh, hold on to your spring preload adjuster like so however you feel comfortable as to not uh, when you take out the screw have it fling across your room and have pieces fly everywhere because that is not fun at all whatsoever. After that, you'll take your spring preload adjuster and um, an O-ring or a couple. And there's going to be a recess on the side that goes inside of your air reservoir. And uh, you're going to want to... Uh, it's going to be a little recess that's about, I'd say about a quarter inch deep to a half inch. Um, and you're going to want to put a few of these in there, uh, O-rings. Um, I was able to fit three, but if you do use three, you're going to have to pull back your, uh, preload adjusting set screw. Um, 
because uh, you will not be able to cock your gun. It will not engage the sear. But if you pull it all the way back, it will engage. Reason why I use three is for the extra velocity, I guess, and cushioning. More so cushioning because the velocity change is going to be neg uh, negligible anyway. But you can uh, fiddle around with that, put in two, put in three, whatever you want. Um, after that, put it all back together. Um, reverse from how you uh, disassembled it. And uh, finished product. After this, um, you're, if you have this gun, you already know how much it pings. So I'll give you, give you a quick demonstration per se. If you don't have this gun, then you won't necessarily understand. But trust me, it does ring a lot. It rings like a bell, even with a deep hanger in. It does help a little bit, I will say, but it definitely doesn't make a huge difference. But after this modification, it'll sound like this. just like a tuned PCP. Sounds great. Absolutely no ring whatsoever. Can't beat it in my opinion. I'll do one more for you. Absolutely quiet. No, no spring residence whatsoever. Basically what's going on is when you pull back the hammer spring it crushes the o-rings and acts like a uh it's acting as a shock absorber and also a uh bushing which is basically the same thing but it'll compress it'll compress the o-rings and then when the spring is released by pulling the trigger um it will expand and follow the spring with it a little ways I'd say about three to five sixteenths worth of travel, quarter inch, and um, actually no, less than that. So like an eighth inch, something like that, three eighths, whatever. It travels a very minute amount, but that travel is just enough for when the spring comes to the end of its travel and starts having the residence, it'll come back and absorb it and thus making it sound like this absolutely phenomenal <clears throat> definitely would recommend it if you have this gun get your hands on some o-rings and uh, a little bit of elbow grease and uh get to work but again if you use three you will have to back up your uh hammer spring grub screw on your preload all the way uh, to accommodate three o-rings if you want to do two or one it's whatever um, but mainly because it will not engage the sear if you have three in and keep it at the factory setting or any setting um, after that going in the direction of loosening the pre uh, preload but if you use two or one you'll be fine um, also I'd recommend, I don't know the exact size for these O-rings, so I'd recommend bringing your, uh, preload adjuster with you to your hardware store, uh, when you go purchase some O-rings to figure out exactly what size fits the best inside of the little recess in the end of your preload adjuster. But overall, I'd recommend it completely, um... Do whatever you want, subscribe, like, comment, really could care less. Um, peace out, have a good one, happy shooting.